Hey everyone, welcome back to Dad's Garage. This is Bruce, working on the YJ today. The headlights are intermittent, coming on. Cleaned up all the uh, grounds, and some of them are pretty bad, so these old vehicles, sometimes that happens. The CJ uh, got a new valve cover. I think it's still dripping a little bit, but concentrating on getting the back fixed. I'm going to repaint the rear end and get that crack welded up. My buddy Mike's going to help me weld that hopefully tomorrow. And then I got paint coming. I'm going to repaint the whole back end because it was pretty buggered up. Still got some areas I need to go over better with sandpaper. So anyway, that's what's going on. It's been a while since I videoed because I went on a business trip and the CJ sat waiting for a valve cover from Montana. Well, anyway, back working. Good old Harbor Freight's having their uh, parking lot sale. Though so I picked up this chair for 20 bucks so I can sit and admire my work when I'm done. That's, not, that's a nice little chair for 20 bucks. Um, also got a new uh, Rubber air hose, I think mine's got a leak because I'll build that thing up to 120 pounds of pressure in my spin tools, my DA, my grinder, just have no power. So i got the new air hose and some couplings, got some welding gloves, thought I'd try this cheap welding helmet. I have this, but you got to flip it up and down, and I don't think it's dark enough for this welding because um, uh, since I thought I don't know how to weld, I'm going to buy this cheap little welder off of Amazon it was uh, 89 bucks or 94 or something I can't remember it says MIG it's not really a MIG it's a no gas welder flux welder they call it anyway I played with it a little bit last night but I don't think that helmet's dark enough and I don't want to burn out my retinas so I'm gonna try the auto darkening welding helmet and play around a little bit more and maybe someday I can get to be proficient enough that I don't have to go to a buddy when I need some sheet metal welded. Anyway, back later. Hey, so here's another great thing about Dad's Garage. I was uh, thinking about getting on Amazon and ordering me a new respirator. Um, and I looked up on the top of the cabinet there next to the Scotch-Brite box or pads. And I see this <laughs> Folgers. <laughs> Thing with like, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's another one up on the workbench, like five respirators. So I think I got this one. They, there was new pads for it. Pulled the pads out, screwed them on. Oh, where's the one? Oh, I already put that in my other cabinet. So those are four ones I can use pieces off of. This is where I normally keep my respirators. So I took, yeah, brand new, brand new pads. I'll just keep it in the Ziploc to keep it from getting dusty, so. Yeah, so now I got a brand new respirator. Um, I got the back more ready for paint. A couple of spots. I took the rails off for, I guess somebody had a soft top on. So I can paint underneath there when I paint. A little touch up spot putty on there. Um, and then I'm going to paint those pieces for the rails powder coat like the bumper here, or the hitch here. And then obviously the back of the Jeep will be gloss black with uh, base coat clear coat. That's coming from Amazon. So I'm going to run to Lowe's and get another thing, a truck bed liner, so I can paint. I'm going to paint these later, but I've got these off here ready to go. Well, they need sanded. I just pulled them off and was grateful those Torx nuts popped right out without any issues. So I'm going to get all that painted too. Mike's gonna get the Jeep welded. Thought it looked nice in this rural setting. This is his barn and farm, I guess. I think that might be him out there getting hay. Anyway, more video after we get it welded. Okay, weld is all done, grind it off. First coat of Bondo on there. Man, I don't know what it is, but I love the smell of Bondo. 
And when I open the can, my heart quickens a little bit. I don't know why. I guess from doing it with my dad when I was a kid and just working on cars. That's the smell. Or one of them. Just another thing I thought was cool. Um, my dad's brother, Bob Black, was a pilot. Um, and he... This is a compass out of an old military aircraft. I have no idea what kind or what, but he also flew for the Forest Service, so I guess it could be a Forest Service plane. Anyway, looks like it... I don't know, I can't tell if it's still... Yeah, there we go, there's north. I'm pointing north, so... Anyway, um, found this old bracket holder. Gonna mount that in there. Of course, paint this black. Paul should have, or sand it up, get it looking nice. And I'm gonna mount that in there just to have under the dash in the Jeep. Just a shout out to days gone by. Okay, so that's uh, probably gonna tip. I have the camera up against my rolling rock, which is almost gone, so it'll probably tip over. Anyways, to wrap up another video, uh, let's see, I, got, I finally got back from my business trip, got my buddy Mike to weld the back of the Jeep, got the first couple of coats of mud on it, found a cool old compass out of an aircraft in my uh, dad's pile of stuff, and I'm gonna make that a mount. I got that, it just painted it, sitting in there waiting to dry. I'm gonna mount that up under the dash, so until next time, see you guys.